Most of the Hollywood superstars who rose to fame in the 60s are either dead or, like Sean Connery, Gene Hackman and Jack Nicholson, retired. Robert Redford has said The Old Man and the Gun will be his last film, but Clint Eastwood, who acted in his first movie in 1955, is still going strong, not only playing the leading role in The Mule, but directing as well. It's his 37th feature as director, and as far as I know, he is, at 88, the oldest director in the history of American cinema, although Portugal's Manuel de Oliveira directed his last film at the age of 104. There's nothing Clint Eastwood doesn't know about making movies, and he's at his near best with this entertaining adaptation of a New York Times magazine article, Sinaloa, Cartel's 90-Year-Old Drug Mule, by Sam Dolnick. The name of the real-life nonagenarian has been changed from that of Leo Sharp to Earl Stone for the film, and that's probably because Nick Schenk's screenplay has taken some liberties with the character. Eastwood's Earl is a horticulturalist, first seen in 2005 tending his flowers and forgetting about the wedding of his daughter Iris, played by Eastwood's own daughter, Alison Eastwood, because instead he is being fated at a convention of florists. Twelve years later, the now 90-year-old is beginning to pay for the mistakes he made in his life. The sale of flowers on the internet has destroyed his business, the bank has foreclosed on his house, and he's barred from a party to celebrate the engagement of his granddaughter Ginny, Tessa Farnica. He's like so many businessmen who place their careers ahead of their families and later live to regret it, and there seems a personal element to Eastwood's portrayal of the role. His work for the cartel proves to be very lucrative. But unknown to Earl, the Drug Enforcement Agency's Chicago office, headed by a never-named special agent played by Lawrence Fishburne, is on the track of the cartel. The only flaw in the film is that we don't really get to know Earl well enough to understand just why he so readily takes on the role of a mule. The implication is that everything he hates about modernity, especially the banks and the internet, has brought him to the point where he despises the authorities and so sees no point in not taking the large sums of money he's offered for seemingly minimal risks. But surely even someone as laid back and seemingly uncomplicated as Earl would have been able to see the consequences of his actions. In the scheme of things, this is a relatively minor quibble alongside Eastwood's achievements here, though. Age hasn't impacted his skills, though, either as a director or as a very accomplished actor. I'm giving the mule four stars.